Uh, tonight, we begin with an exclusive report on the details of the agreement signed by leaders of parties affiliated to the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance that is led by Deputy President William Ruto. The full text of the agreement seen by Citizen Television details a post-election power-sharing plan by Kenya Kwanzaa that includes the creation of a position equivalent to that of the defunct office of the Prime Minister. Now, the Kenya Kwanzaa agreement states that an office to be named Prime Cabinet Secretary would be created through an executive order should Ruto be elected president. The position, according to the agreement, will be reserved for ANC party leader Masali Mudawadi. The proposed creation of a prime minister-like position through an executive order is likely to be seen as a change of mind by Deputy President William Ruto, who has repeatedly accused his Azmiullah Moja Kenya competitors of seeking to create more positions of power in government. The Kenya Kwanzaa Agreement also allocates positions to Ford Kenya Party leader Moses Watangula, who is proposed for Speaker of the National Assembly, Kilifi Governor Amazon Kingi for Senate Speaker, and reserves one cabinet position for Maendeleo Chap Chap to be taken by Governor Alfred Mutua, should Ruto be elected president. Now, the agreement, however, states that terms for these allocations, with Mudavadi and Rutangula being required to deliver 70% of the presidential vote in five western counties to William Ruto. Mutua is required to deliver 35% of the Ukambani presidential vote to Ruto, while Kingi has a 50% threshold to deliver to the deputy president in Kilifi County. Citizen TV's political editor, Francis Gashuri, now walks us through the detailed Kenya Kwanzaa agreement authored by Taraka Nithi Senator and lawyer, Kindiki Kithure. Details of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition Agreement reads like a return on investment, reap what you saw power sharing deal. The elaborate primary document, drawn by the Rakanidi Senator Professor Kithure Kindiki, was deposited with the Registrar of Political Parties on Sunday night, just before the deadline for coalitions of political parties to outline how they will relate before, during and after the general election, as well as power sharing and government structures, should they clinch the presidency in the power structure outlined in the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition Agreement, the presidential flag bearer position is reserved for United Democratic Party UDA, headed by Deputy President William Ruto. The running with slot is also preserved for UDA and specifically for the Mount Kenya region. Save for the names of potential candidates, this geolocation hint is expected to end any further speculation on the Ruto running mate question. The Kenya Kwanzaa Power Deal allocates Amani National Congress ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi the prime cabinet secretary slot if Ruto clinches the presidency in the August State House race. The National Assembly Speaker's seat is reserved for Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula and his Ford Kenya party. According to the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition Agreement, the Senate Speaker slot is allocated to Pamoja African Alliance leader Kilifi Governor Amazon Kingi, who defected to the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance over the weekend. The Coalition Agreement provides for a cabinet of 21 ministers that will be shared out in line with the pact. In the root of power structure, Mudavadi and Wetangula will be allocated 30% of the appointive government positions should Kenya Kwanzaa win in the August polls. This includes the prime cabinet secretary and six cabinet secretary slots, national assembly speaker and priority development projects in western Kenya region. To secure these plum slots, Mudavadi and Wetangula are required to deliver at least 70% of the western Kenya votes that will be cast in the August presidential race. The five counties of Kakamega, Bungoma, Vihiga, Busia and Transoia, which is administratively under Rift Valley region but politically part of the western Kenya region, have a combined total of 2.5 million registered voters. Part of the priority development projects negotiated by Mudavadi and Wetangula in the coalition agreement includes completion of all all incomplete or stalled bitumen roads, 1,000 kilometers of new bitumen roads, and resources to revive and modernize sugar factories such as Mumias and Zoya. Such projects are however subject to consideration alongside other development priorities in other parts of the country. <laughs> Kilifi Governor Amazon Kingi, who ditched Azimio La Umoja One Kenya team for Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa, has negotiated for the Senate Speaker slot in the coalition agreement signed on Sunday night. He also secured a political promissory note for his supporters' appointment to top management positions at the Kenya Ports Authority, KPA. The agreement schedule, however, requires Kingi and his Pamoja African Alliance PAR to 
secure for Ruto at least 50% of the presidential votes cast in Kilifi County in the August State House race. Kilifi County has 582,631 registered voters. In the agreement, Kingi's party will also be supported by the coalition in the race for Malindi, Magarini, Ganze, Rabai and Kaloleni parliamentary seats. Mutua's Maendeleo Chapchap negotiated for one cabinet secretary slot in a ministry relevant to infrastructure or public utilities such as energy or water in the Kenya Kwanza government if Ruto wins in the August presidential race. If Mutua misses the ministerial flag, he will settle for a fallback plan of being nominated to either the National Assembly or Senate, where he will become the majority or minority leader in either of the houses. He must, however, garner for Ruto at least 35% of the presidential votes cast in three counties of Ukambani. Machakos, Kitui and Makueni that have a combined voter population of 1.7 million people. It is an area considered a stronghold of Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka, who is jostling for the running mid slot in the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party. On the structure of government, the Kenya Kwanza Coalition Agreement outlines and demarcates functions of the Deputy President and the proposed position of Prime Cabinet Secretary. The Deputy President, according to the agreement, will chair all Cabinet committees, oversee implementation of Cabinet decisions, coordinate relations between the national and county governments, coordinate planning and supervision of projects and programs funded by development partners, coordinate constitutional commissions and independent bodies in matters that require national government intervention, and undertake any other functions assigned by the president. On the other hand, the prime cabinet secretary, who will be appointed through an executive order within 14 days if Kenya Kwanza clinches the presidency, will be allocated five functions, top among them, assisting the president and the deputy president in coordination and supervision of government ministries and state departments, overseeing implementation of national government policies, chairing and coordinating government legislative agenda across all ministries and state departments for transmission to parliament through leadership of both houses, as well as coordinating and supervising the technical monitoring and evaluation of government policies and projects. Very good. Other than the three prime constituent members of the coalition, Kenya Kwanza has 11 other associate parties and is seeking more to sign up through the provision of post-election coalitions. According to the general agreements signed between the three Kenya Kwanza founder parties and additional member parties, the 11 parties among them DP, Tujibebe, TSP and Chama Chakazi will be allocated a share of the government based on their contribution, including the number of parliamentary and county seats garnered. The coalition's highest decision making organ, the party leaders forum will be chaired by Ruto with Mudavadi and Wetangula as members. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.